Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Nish Kumar Singh and we are continuing with Jira tutorials. As a part of today's tutorial, we will be understanding about reports in Jira which can be populated or created within a Jira project. There are several types of reports which generally helps you to monitor the progress on the project and sometimes gets a quick update that how exactly the things are progressing, is there any need of any kind of control action to be deployed in order to achieve our target. So we'll be just trying to make sure that how exactly everything fits into the process at any point of time if you want a quick update to be measured from the project, how exactly that can be done. And we have different types of reports which are available as a part of the Jira project. So let's understand today in this quick tutorial to understand what exactly the reports and how we can populate them. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding about the reports in Jira which can be populated. As a part of Jira project, where we basically started with saying that Jira is a project planning and tracking tool, of course it helps you to monitor a lot of matrices and a lot of indicators can be produced in order to measure the progress or at any, any point of time to determine what necessary control actions or corrective measures would be required in order to overcome certain barriers to help you improve your progress and reach the deadlines on time. And that really becomes very important for anyone, even a user, to progress his own activities which are assigned to him to check that how exactly the user is progressing and will he or she will be able to deliver the committed task on time. Now, within your Jira projects, to access the report section, you should come to the left panel and click on reports. This option allows you to access the reports per dialog and also helps you to determine that what are the possible reports which can be generated. Now here's the list of all the reports which can be generated as a part of the Jira project. And they are categorized into different sections. For example, Agile section, you have burn down charts, burn up charts, sprint report, velocity report, cumulative flow diagram, version control, epic report, control chart, epic burn down, and release burn down. Now each of these graph has a detail mentioned about below that what exactly this chart will populate and how it will help you to measure an entity. For example, for burn down chart, we all know that burn down chart is basically a chart to populate anything uh, at any point of time that what are the activities which are remaining to be completed. So it says track the total work remaining and project the likelihood of the achieving the sprint goal. And this helps your team manage its progress and respond accordingly. Now at any point of time, if you uh, want to measure that how exactly you have been progressing and you want to quickly get into the business to understand that what more need to be done, how much work is remaining and how many days are remaining and comparing both of them to decide will you be able to come out of uh, the any kind of execution and any control actions are necessary to push up the things and complete the work on time can only be measured with these kind of things. So of course, each of these reports will have a detail provided to you at any point of time. You want to generate something, you can just select it wisely and create that. Similarly, we do have another category called as issue analysis, which is specific to the issue point of view, whereas the first one was related to the sprint point of view. So issues, we have average age report, like how long an issue has been opened and being working on, created versus resolved issue report, pie chart report, recently created issues report, resolution time report, single level group by report, and time since issue reported. So of course these are the reports which are exclusively for issue management and you would like to talk about any of the issues or multiple issues within your project which are lying, you can definitely populate a report for that. Also do we do have various other categories like forecast management, which is time tracking reporting, user workload reporting, version workload reporting, and so on plus many others like workload pie chart reporting and definitely you can add more from the app pros. So what exactly marketplace is, what is the app store in Jira is, we will see in the next tutorial. And that would be calling off with the last tutorial of the session. So we will look into that. Though we do not have any good number of artifacts and significant details, still it is worth creating a sample report and see that how exactly it can be created. So let's click on burn down chart because we have a lot of pending activities on our project to be completed. And just click on the report which you want to pre uh, prepare. 
and uh, just look at what exactly you get. Alright, so this is what something typical would look like, but of course not in a real-time project because you said that this sprint is for 14 days and you are going to complete a lot of tasks, but you see that there was some story point estimates being done, but it still remains the same. That means not any of the task has been completed. So here's an interval of time which you can see. Uh, between the days November 22 to December 14 as on today and uh, story points estimate which we have given for one of the story which is our user story which we have seen and uh, so far so good everything has been the same and not not any of the activities has been completed of course if you want to see more details in a tabular form that what exactly happened so the very first day tin 2 was the task which was created with estimate 1 which was added but progressively you have not done anything into the issues with different sprints which you added and there was no progress nothing was completed as done so you don't see any of the progress there if you want you can definitely change it to issue count and see that what exactly the issue count is so you see that from the point of uh, you know the day you started creating one of the issue has been completed but not exactly a you know entire user story has been delivered and uh, you continued so we uh, have some of the legends here for example the gray color shows the guideline that we thought starting on issue 22 or the number 22 you were supposed to complete your activities but things didn't progress as per that so the gray line showed me an estimate that December 4 you will be able to complete it but the red line says no you could not do that so this is what a typical graph looks like when you you know look into the uh, reports and similarly all other projects and all the reports will be created you just have to be make sure that you know what report you need at what point of time and should have a good understanding of uh, you know selecting and populating the report and explaining it to somebody else it could be helpful for to derive any kind of outcomes well that's all from this particular episode team just wanted to tell you where are various reports which can be generated as a part of basic i just wanted to give you an overview but in the next level of the training, we will understand how to create them. So, so hold it for a while and just subscribe to the channel to get more updates from the upcoming tutorials in the advanced level of the Jira tutorial. So stay tuned for that. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.